What's up, gang? Welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV, where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. Okay. It's your girl, Janina, here, and I am back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be testing out a brand new foundation, okay? The Hourglass Ambiance Soft Focus Foundation. So if you guys want to see that, keep on watching. <music> to try this foundation i love hourglass stuff so my expectation for this foundation is gonna be really high okay because you can't deny hourglasses makeup is just bomb okay and given the price of this new foundation okay i hope it is As i mentioned in the intro this video is going to be on hourglasses new liquid formula foundation because if you guys knew about hourglass they only have uh foundation sticks i don't think they have liquid formula foundation so i think this is their very first liquid formula foundation and it is called the ambient soft glow foundation it retails for 58 dollars which is an astronomical price for a foundation i like girl i was like wh wh what i mean but it is hourglass so what can we expect i think the highest foundation i ever purchased was the pat mcgrath and that was pretty high i don't remember how much that was i believe it was 60. i don't remember but it was pretty expensive but this one is expensive too okay so let's hope that this foundation is really really good so i'm gonna show you guys the packaging because you guys know i'm a packaging girl so this is the packaging for the uh new ambient soft glow foundation it looks j pretty much similar just like all of our last's other um color schemes thing i did notice about this packaging I don't believe their stick foundations have this, but I noticed that it has like the little color scheme here. And it's just like a little strip or just a little preview of the color you are getting. So I am in the color 14, or at least I chose the color number 14. I almost went with 14.5 because I think 14 was warm. 14.5 was more on the neutral side. Um, I don't really, I, I only use Hourglass's stick foundation for bronzer. I have a stick foundation here that I'm actually going to use in this look today, and I use it for bronzer. I don't use Hourglass's stick foundations for an actual foundation because I feel like I don't really have a shade in that stick foundation. So I wasn't sure what shade to get, so I went ahead and got the 14. How the bottle looks, this is shade 14. Um, it actually looks pretty close to my shade in the bottle, but we all know how that goes. <laughs> we'll swatch it before we put it on our face there. And I believe there is a pump, yes. So it is a pump, okay? For $58, it better be a pump, okay? I also picked up their primer. This is not the new one. I know they just came out with a new primer. This one is their original mineral sunscreen that has an SPF of 15. I did get the travel size because I always did want to purchase um, Hourglass's primer because it is very, very highly recognized in the makeup world. You guys know I keep my ear to the streets all the time, okay? It's been on my wish list forever, so I decided to purchase it in order to try out this foundation. Why not? Before we dive into the shade of the foundation, let me go into the notes, girl. I just got my nails done, so I'm gonna be like, you know, all extra or whatever. So get ready, <laughs> okay? So I'm looking at my notes here. So uh, the claims for this foundation is that it retails for $58. It has 32 different shades, which is pretty good. I mean, we have shade ranges these days that are like 40, 50, but 32 to me, I feel like is a really good start. Um, it is a liquid vegan formula. It's supposed to be a natural finish. It's long wearing, it's buildable, uh, medium coverage, weightless, and also transfer resistant is claiming. Okay, we're not gonna test that because I'm not gonna do a wear test today. I hardly do wear tests, but we'll see if it does transfer because you know, in a world where we have to wear masks, if you're still wearing masks, girl, transfer proof is actually great, right? So let's get into the shade. So I'm going to swatch the shade 14 on my face. Turn to the side and this is shade 14 on me. And given the fact that I have been outside doing summer activities, girl, I did take that into account. I feel like it's gonna be a pretty good match. 
I'm a little bit on the darker side because like I said, I have been outside, but I do think it's a pretty good match. I do think I did well with that. I'll say so myself. So first things first, I am going to prime my face with the Hourglass Mineral Sunscreen. It has SPF 15, which is not a lot, but I feel like, ooh, this is really, really soft. But anyway, like I was saying, it's just a 15 SPF strength, but I feel like you don't really need a lot of SPF when you have makeup on top, you know what I mean? Oh, but it's really, really soft. Definitely not black girl friendly, <laughs> okay? There's definitely like a cast going on around here, but it didn't say that it was like sheer mineral sunscreen or anything. It's just saying mineral sunscreen, so that's okay because it's gonna go underneath makeup. But what I will say is this primer is oh so soft and I did test it out a little bit inside the Sephora I walked into and I was really impressed. I actually wanted to get the brand new primer, but I just love the feel of this one. And then plus I've been using sunscreen a lot, trying to control my hyperpigmentation. So this one at the time just fits my needs a little bit better. Okay, now that we look a hot mess with this mineral sunscreen primer on, I will say it's really, really soft to the touch. It feels very luxurious, so I definitely like that. I'm definitely going to see how this wears and probably end up picking up the full size. So anyway, let's go in with our foundation. I'm going to pump about a pump on here. And just pumping it out, I will say it's kind of watery, but more on the medium side, so it won't actually... Uh, fall off your brush, but it's not really thick either. It's kind of a medium consistency I'm gonna use my mint cosmetics brush and then just buff that out What we have on our face so far and see what we get So I don't smell a fragrance but that could be also because I cleaned my brush. I just recently cleaned my brushes with the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and it has like a little bit of smell on there. So to be honest, I can't really tell, but I don't think it has a scent. Wow, and it's definitely covering. Okay, so yes, this is a medium coverage because that's what it claims to be. Natural finish, medium coverage. So it is giving some coverage here. As you can see, I have hyperpigmentation, the most of it, or the bulk of it, or majority of it, right here. And it did kind of cover, but I am still gonna use a little bit more. I'm gonna use the remainder that I have, which is quite a lot on the brush. So that's nice, the product doesn't really soak into the brush like it normally would, it just kind of sat on the top. Oh yeah, and that covered it right up. So definitely medium coverage. It's definitely weightless. I don't feel anything on my skin at all, so that's good. Now, I don't know if it's the primer that I chose to use, but instead of a natural finish, I feel like it's more of a a little bit mattifying I'm not gonna say like it's it's like super matte but it is a little mattifying but that could be my choice of primer as well because I feel like the primer was a little mattifying but I'm not really seeing a natural finish I mean my face is naturally a little bit shiny in my t-zone I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, what you guys see. I mean, it's beautiful regardless, but natural finish, I kind of don't see. I kind of just see, or I feel like my face is just a little bit matte. You know what I mean? But that could be from the primer. I'm gonna use a little bit more the rest that I have here.
Ah, okay. So now I'm seeing a little bit of that light play, that light reflecting play that the ambient is known for, okay? So yes, I will say that this is a natural finish. I got kind of worried there because I felt like maybe the primer was changing the consistency of this foundation, but no. So now that it's just kind of settling on my face, I do see that it does have a little bit of a natural finish and that like soft glow that the ambient lighting um, powders are known for because that's what it's playing off of, the reflectant lighting of the ambient or whatever okay so i definitely do see that color is a little bit more darker than i thought it would be i felt like it went on lighter than it actually settling on my face but that's okay because like i said it is summertime i am kind of getting darker and then the winter i'll get lighter but we can definitely save this with some concealer so the shade is actually not too bad this is how it's looking on my face right now. I actually like it. Um, I feel like you can build it up and it won't become cakey at all. It's, I, I don't know, I think I'm confused because I feel like it's, it, it is giving off a natural finish, but it feels matte. It definitely feels like it's matte on my skin and it isn't transferring that I can see. You guys see anything? Maybe because my lights are so bright, I can't see, but it's definitely not transferring. So maybe the transfer proof claims are correct, girl, maybe, okay. Anyway, let's finish the rest of our makeup on camera just to see how it plays with the rest of our products. So I am gonna use um, ColourPop's concealer, Pretty Fresh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I'm gonna go a little light in the corners because I feel like the foundation is settling onto my skin. It's looking a little bit more lighter than my neck because I like to match my foundation to my decolletage here. And it is a little um, not matchy-matchy like I want it. So I'm gonna use two different concealer colors. I'm gonna go lighter in the corner there and then kind of a little bit medium. I'm gonna go in with my trusty Sasha Buttercup in the color light. While I'm baking, I'm going to contour and bronze with the Hourglass Foundation Stick. Now, in order for me to do this, I use the shade Cappuccino. Just using this little kitty paw brush from Morphe. I really, really like this brush when I want to be precise with my contour and bronzer. I feel like it's just so dense and it's just so perfect for your dream contour and bronzer. And it definitely blends everything out like a dream. Look at that. Jawline, no problem. Double chin, no problem. Get you this brush, fam, seriously. This is the Morphe E93. Yeah. Get you this brush, fam. <laughs> get you this brush. I use just a little bit on a smaller brush just to get a little bit of a nose contour. Just a little bit. I'm gonna take it all the way up to my eyelids here. I'm gonna wipe off that excess bake because I feel like we are done baking and I feel like it served its purpose. It did kind of bring a little bit more light to the center of my face just to kind of offset that um, foundation color a little bit. So now I'm going to use some ambient lighting powder since this is an hourglass review we're going to use as many hourglass products as we can so i'm not going to lie i've always been a little confused about how to use these ambient powders so i do have this one here which is luminous light and that's the color of that and then i do have one of the palettes i believe this is the second palette um, by hourglass and it has these colors in there now i always use the darkest color which is this one to go over my entire face. So I'm gonna use the same brush 
and do that just because I feel like this color is more of a match to my skin tone. So just to mattify it up a little bit, instead of using brown powder, and I wanted just a little bit of a play on light iridescent, I will use this. And then for a little teeny weeny bit of highlight, I'm going to use the uh, Luminous Light, this one right here. And I'm just gonna put it on probably my nose. and a little bit on the bridge there. A bone as well. All right, so I did finish the rest of my face off camera. I basically just used the ColourPop Act Natural for uh, mascara. And then I did line my lips a little bit with Juvia's Place's velvety lip liners. You guys know I love the lip liners. I use the darkest brown color. And then just a clear gloss. I'm not really going anywhere. That's why I keep touching my hair. It is wet because I did just get out of the shower. Um, I'm not really going anywhere. I feel like I just wanted to look presentable because I do have a Zoom meeting with some members of a group. I moderate a group now, so we have a meeting every week, so I just wanted to be a little presentable. So no lashes, girl, just real, um, you know, cute, clean girl, presentable, soft focus, soft glow, ambiance, soft glow. Okay, that's what we're giving today. So anyway, this is my final look using the Hourglass Ambiance Soft Glow Foundation. What are you guys feeling? What are you guys thinking? I'm going to tell you how I feel, okay? So these are going to be my final thoughts on this foundation. Now, like we mentioned, the price was $58. Is it worth $58? Yes. I will say yes, because it does exactly what it says it does. I feel like it is playing on a little bit of light because it did present a natural finish, but, as, but at the same time, it feels like it's a mattifying foundation. So it's not one of those glowy foundations that's going to kind of slide off of your face, especially in this record-breaking heat. I don't know about you guys, but right now I'm on the East Coast, and we've been having this record-breaking like heat wave. Right now, um, dewy foundations are just not a thing for me unless I'm going to be inside. And I definitely feel like this gives you that not dewy look, but kind of a kind of a glow within, just like the ambient lighting powders do. It's kind of a um, ambient soft focus lighting effect that does make you look a little, or makes your skin look a little better playing off the light without all of that dewiness, you know what I mean? So this is definitely, I feel like, a nice, unique formula. I don't think I ran into a foundation that does the exact same thing as this. It presents as just like a kind of a natural finish, but gives you kind of a mattifying um, effect to where you can wear it outside in heat. It's also transfer proof. That's what the claims say. I haven't worn it long enough or wore a mask to know that, but most definitely I'm touching it and it's pretty set on there. Okay, I don't see anything coming off my face. I mean, maybe you guys can because um, the lights are just blaring into my face, so everything is kind of like um, really light and I can't see, but like so far, I feel like it's not transferring at all, and I feel like it's doing and it's holding up really, really good and how it's supposed to. Now, I will say the color is a little off for me. Um, I don't see any golden or yellow in this. 14, shade 14 was specifically believe um or i believe it was a yellow golden undertone they advertised it as and then 14.5 was supposed to be neutral i definitely don't see any yellow golden undertone in this um shape okay because that's normally what i gravitate towards i feel like i my neck is yellow and i have just kind of a yellow or golden undertone but i also can use neutral i low-key want to buy the 14.5 which is considered neutral just to see how that would look because I definitely don't see golden, but then I don't see orange or red or anything weird either. So, I mean, it's working out perfectly with the concealer. I feel like we were able to save it. It's doing good, okay? It's looking good on me. It's definitely weightless on my face. I don't feel anything at all. And it covered up all of my imperfections. It definitely was a medium coverage foundation. If you guys watch my channel 
or my vlogs or any of my makeup reviews you guys know i have hyperpigmentation not so much now because i've been doing a ton of stuff with my acne and it's been getting better but normally i would have pretty bad hyperpigmentation i have oily skin so i feel like this formula is perfect the coverage is perfect i didn't have to use a lot of product in order to like cover up all of my imperfections and it just looks it just looks really good really flawless really smooth and i feel like it looks really good on the skin i mean so um our expectation for hourglass is really high and i feel like hourglass exceeded that expectation with this foundation okay so i definitely recommend this foundation guys is the price tag a little steep yeah yeah it's definitely a little steep but is it worth it it's definitely worth it okay so if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a like subscribe to the channel girl and when you do subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time the gang posts a video okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye